Welcome to another edition of Mach 10 Design Webmaster Training. Uh, this is going to be um, step one in a three-part series on how to place a post on a WordPress blog. Uh, I know there's probably lots of videos out there that uh, show you how to do this, but uh, I've had some requests from some of our user base on how to post a blog post within WordPress and so we're going to break this down into three small parts. Uh, this first step is going to be how to put in a post, the, ba the most basic aspects of putting in a post. Step two in our next video will be how to put media, meaning images or a flash image, within your blog post. And step three will be on how to make it search engine optimized for the content that you're working on. So this first video we're going to go ahead and show you the basics on how to post. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to your dashboard once you log into your WordPress software and you want to come over here to posts and you click the little arrow and what you want to do is go to add new. So once you click on that it's fairly straightforward when you get here. You'll notice there's a lot of elements on the page. We're going to run through those real quick like. Um, the very first thing you'll notice is you have this box up here at the top and that is the title to your blog. Uh, I'm going to take you over to our blog here and I'm going to give you a quick example of what that title would consist of. So here's a blog post about domain names. So this here, oops, this here will be the title of your post, which would be whatever you type in this box here. So you'll want to make sure that it's a very descriptive title of what that particular post is. Now your next step will be down in this text area will be where you place all the content, the wording or the paragraphs and media and everything for the blog post. So you can go ahead and type anything you want in there and that part will show up here within the blog post and you can make it as big and, and you know as long and wordy as you need it according to whatever your requirements are for that particular post. Now there's a lot of things inside here. This gives you a WYGIWIZ editor which is what you see is what you get type editor. And there's two ways that you can do this. You can just go in here and start typing text as you want. And then it gives you numerous different things. You can bold, italicize, strike through. Um, you have different types of features here. Um, different media you can add, um, H tags, different things you can do here. And if you're an advanced user, you would come over here, you get two tabs over to the side here. One is visual, one is HTML. The HTML will give you the raw HTML that you could place in here because WordPress within this editor will accept uh, all types of HTML. So if you're a little bit more advanced user, you'd want to use this to be able to kind of dress up your post a little bit. But if you're a beginner, I would just basically use this particular editor here. So you go ahead and you place everything in there that you need. Now, my recommendation would be this. This is very, very key and very important to when you're creating a post for your blog. You'll want to go ahead and create the content within a text editor uh, or some type of editing software such as Microsoft Word. Um, you'll want to go ahead and type everything out, get your spelling, get your grammar correct. Once you have that done, however, um, the Word Editor Word has a lot of behind-the-scenes HTML that it, ha that, that it takes to format it within Word because that's a desktop publisher. If you copy and paste that code and then place it within the text here, within WordPress, it's going to carry over all that ugly, nasty, crappy HTML that it takes to format it on the desktop puts it in here and it makes your HTML and sometimes your post just look like crap when you get it up there. So what you want to do is get everything you want done in Word. Then what you're going to want to do is you come over here to this button here and it says paste from Word. When you click on that it's going to pull up this editor and what you'll want to do is you want to copy and then paste this into this document and click insert. And what that does is this paste from Word, I didn't have any that I pasted in, but what it's doing is it goes in and it looks for all the garbage HTML that it does not need and strips it away and leaves you with pretty much raw um, content to go in there. That way you want all your pages to be very uniform and you don't want all that other crap that comes along with doing it. So that's highly, super important when you're posting things for your blog. 
Um, we're going to get into the media aspect of it, adding pictures and things in a different video. Now, if you scroll on down here a little ways, you'll notice there's some things in here we're just not going to get into, like excerpts, send trackbacks. Uh, this is a little bit more advanced stuff. We're just basically showing you how to get this thing off the ground. And then some of the things down here at the bottom is important. You'll want to make sure that you'll have allow comments on this post and allow trackbacks and ping packs on this particular post. You're going to want to do that so that people can leave some feedback because you want, you know, user interaction within your website. Um, and then the post author, you want to make sure that it's the right author. So, and then some of these other things that are in here are plugins that we utilize, but we're not going to get into all that right now. So those are the basics of posting. There's some things over here to the right you want to take a look at. A couple things is, if you're working on a post, you'll want to go ahead and put in what you need, and then let's say you're not quite ready yet, you can go ahead and save it as a draft. Um, other things you'll want to do is if you want this to be public or if you want it to be private, if you go ahead and you click edit and you want to make this uh, a private post, then what will happen is, is once you save it, then it's going to ask you, do you want to password protect, excuse me, you'll want to do that here. Uh, password protect, then you can put a password in to protect a particular page and then let's say you have some confidential information you want clients to see, um, you go ahead and send out the password and, and those people will be required to place that password in. And then you can do other things like publish this either immediately or you can set the post to publish at a, as a, at a time in the future. So let's say you have five posts that you want to put in there. You get them all placed in there and then you can schedule them every so many days so that you can have some work done in advance, get your post out there, and then it looks like you're just on top of the ball. And then you'll scroll on down here a little ways, and you'll notice that uh, post tags. You'll want to be able to tag your posts like, let's say you're talking about football. You'll want to post the tags like football, um, sports, different things like that. It helps when people are searching your blog once it gets very large in where they can find that information a little bit easier. Uh, and then if you come on down here a little bit further, you notice there's categories. You can create numerous categories for your blog post to help again in filtering and helping people find different types of information within your blog. So if you notice here, I've got a category of blogging, dot com history, events. And if you come out to the front of my website, you'll notice across the top here I have different categories. And I you can dig deeper into the categories and get into more depth, but this way here I can break my categories up into particular subjects. So if I'm looking for something about Google Apps or let's say that I'm looking for something about blogging, I can click on that particular link and see all the different posts here that I have about blogging. So it's a great way to be able to organize your content and make it easier for folks to find your information. So that's a little bit about the basics about posting. I know it's just kind of a quick run through, but as you become more advanced, you will find how, how you can use the other tools within this um, blogging system. So I think WordPress is great. It's very easy to use. Um, in our next tutorial, we're going to show you how to insert a picture into a blog post. So um, with that, I uh, hope you enjoy it. Please leave some feedback for me. If you have any questions, if I completely missed something or if I explained something wrong, go ahead and let me know. I'll redo the video or post something to it, and I'll, we'll uh, make sure that everybody gets this. But uh, thanks for your time, and we'll see you at the next video.